Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Do you believe in magic? Because if you don't, I think by the end of this video you might. Because what we're going to watch is something truly magical. And what we're going to see is via one click going from Unreal Engine, such as this scene you see right here, over to the Unity game engine with the scene that you see right here here. So basically, uh, spitting images when you're done with it. Like, obviously, the lighting is different, but everything else in the scene is pretty close to identical, even down to the fact that, let's go take a look at the grass over here. This is amazing. Animations on the grass over here, and let's head on back over to Unreal Engine, and uh, let's go take a look at the grass down here, and yep, animated grass here too. Now there are some things you're going to see that you're going to need to recreate. They're just different between engines, such as the light rays or the effects you're seeing coming in here. Um, and that's kind of about it, to be honest. It, it does some pretty amazing things. Now I lied a little bit earlier on. It's not technically one click. It's more like four. So what you may ask is the source of this magic. What is the spell we are looking at today? Well, if you head on over to the Unity Asset Store right now, they've got a spring sale going on, and I'm featuring this one for a very specific reason. By the time I publish this video, what we're looking at here today is the Unreal to Unity exporter, and it should be featured as a flash sale. So I'm going to try and put this one up literally within minutes uh, of this sale going live. So you're going to have 12 hours to pick it up at maximum discount. It's going to be 70% off, and then it drops to 60 for a little bit of time, then it'll be 50 for a couple weeks from now. So if you wait, if you like what you see, uh, again, it's on sale right now. And I did talk about this guy a little bit in the past. I did this video on exporting from Unreal Engine to either Godot, Unity, or Blender. And really, it was one of the stars of the show. It, it, it staggered my mind when I put together this video, which, by the way, I will link down below as well if you want to check that out. There are other ways you can get your game out of Unreal Engine, but the uh, Unreal to Unity exporter is by far and away the most impressive, in my humble opinion. All right, so let's check out another example. This is the Polar example. This is free uh, for um, Unreal Engine developers. It's on their store as kind of a, a, in the permanently free collection. Uh, if you didn't know already, uh, if you're a subscriber to Game From Scratch, first Tuesday of every month, I cover all of the free assets uh, that uh, Epic Games gives away. And if you are using a different engine, well, this is potentially a way to get a hold of them. Uh, so let's go check out the, what this looks like in the Unity game engine once imported. So obviously... Uh, again, your lighting is different. We're losing the uh, particle effects there for a second. Uh, but otherwise, all the skyboxes are brought in. Your train is all bought in, brought in. And here we are inside of the scene. Again, the lighting models between the engines are different. So you're going to want to do a little bit of tweaking. But you're going to notice here all of the lights are brought over. And again, another more impressive thing that you're going to see here is look at this texture. The water is actually animated. Same with we go over look at this, uh, this canister here. It's animated. So you're going to have to rework your lighting for sure, but you can like get a 90% of the way there uh, export, again, with just a few steps. And I'll show you the entire process hands-on. Now, your first question might be, all right, so how do I get a hold of this guy? Well, it's sold on the Unity Asset Store. So once again, it's available over here. You can pick it up on the store right there. And then once you've got it, this is weird, because my humble opinion, one of the single best Unity plugins is for Unreal Engine. Uh, but once you want to go ahead and get a hold of it, what you do is you come down here uh, and basically go to uh, Windows, and then you'll go to the uh, Package Manager like so. Once you've actually purchased it, uh, you'll go to your assets, so my assets over here. And then once it's finished filtering, you'll go ahead and do a, a search for Unreal Engine. You will find it right there. And then, uh, Okay, we'll do an update. It's updated all the time, by the way, which is also impressive. And we'll go ahead and do an import. It will bring it down and in. And what you're going to notice here is you get a zip file here and instructions. Instructions are pretty straightforward. They show you how to go ahead and copy it and paste it into uh, Unreal Engine to be up and ready to go. So basically, this is an Unreal Engine plugin that, ironically enough, you're downloading from the Unity Asset Store. And then I'm going to show you basically the entire process of exporting a level. So I'm going to head back over here to... Uh, we're going to do a simpler one to keep the speeds down. Uh, and I'm actually going to take this one from a Humble Bundle that's going on right now. Uh, so there's this Polygon Assets Bundle, and pick stuff. I'm going to bring one of these demos in, uh, the New York level, and we're going to export it over. So I'm just doing this again because it's very quick. Uh, there's no reason why you would want to use this one, because this one actually you'll notice you're actually getting Unity and Unreal Engine projects as well. I'll have a link to this bundle down below if you want to pick that guy up. Uh, but let me go ahead and showcase how you would use this guy. So first, we're going to head on over to Unreal. We'll load that map. 
Okay, so here is the level that we're going to export. By the way, I have never actually seen the end results here, so uh, this is a random sampling I'm going to do. So I'm going to be as shocked as you are at how good or bad the quality ends up being. Now what you're going to notice here is after you've installed the plugin, which by the way is installed as a plugin, so edit plugins, once you've copied it over, following the instructions, you will find it here. Just search for Unity, Unreal to Unity. Make sure that is enabled. It's going to force a restart of uh, Unreal Engine the first time you do that. And then once you've done that, you'll notice you have this little drop down right here. Well, go ahead and drop it down. There's not much you need to do. Uh, so you have place all assets in scene, which I find this doesn't actually do anything. Uh, you could convert landscape to static mesh, which is actually really cool. So you have a landscape object inside of the uh, Unreal game engine. You can have it turned into a mesh object. So when it gets over to Unity, it looks right. Um, then we finally just do a prepare for export. This does whatever it does. It basically bakes the shaders and, and preps things. Like I said, it's a pretty simple scene, so there's not much to go on there. So you can see, I'm just going to run through them. This is not not a, a long process, so uh, technically we're up to one click drop down, one click there. So yeah, a little bit more than, than a single click, but pretty close. Uh, now, one thing you need to really set your expectations on here, this brings your graphics across, and it brings over a surprising amount. So it brings over lighting, camera, um, physics objects, and so on and so forth. But it's not bringing over, you know, it doesn't convert blueprints into C-sharp code or anything like that. You're still going to have to recreate your game logic completely. This is a way for bringing assets from one engine to another engine. All right, so the it's now prepped. What do we do next? We just come here again, and we do an export. And really, you could just click OK. The defaults are good to go. But there are a couple of things that you want to know about here. This one is very cool. You can render it out to the built-in pipeline, the ERP, or the Universal Render Pipeline, and the HD Pipeline. Uh, so you can pick whichever one you want there. I think ERP is the future, so I'll stick with ERP here. Uh, pick a location for it. So as you can see, we've demoed twice. Let's go ahead and pick number three here. Um, you got a number of options here. Generally, just leave everything alone, and you don't need to do too much to change anything. If you've got a bunch of animations, you want to export them as well. By the way, you can. Uh, also, you have choice of, over how the uh, foliage <clears throat> is exported here, uh, and you can say, do it like create a game object, for instance, or you could actually like instantiate it together, uh, you know, save on the overall overhead. But really, that's it. So what you do, go ahead and say, okay, create this for the uh, ERP pipeline. All you really need to do, pick a pipeline, pick a directory for it to create, and then click OK. So let's see how long this process takes. And uh, yeah, we're done. So that's how long that process takes. So next thing you need to do is actually go ahead and open that project up. So here, open, it's in temp, of course, because this is me we're talking about here. Temp, that's version number three right here. And let's find out how good of a job it did. So go ahead, do it open. Uh, you're going to have to pick a version unless you actually have the exact same version that this was set up for. I also believe that 2021.2 is the min version, by the way. So you're going to want to use something newer than that. But considering that's like two to three years old, you should probably be running something newer than that anyways. I'll pick 2022.2 here as my example. And yeah, open. And yeah, change the version. Let it do whatever it's doing. Uh, now this is, you know, straightforward Unity loading a project. Um, th this can take a second and isn't that interesting. So let's just pause it while it processes this. All right, ironically enough, it took about seven times longer for Unity to load the project than it did for the Unreal Engine plugin to create it. So here it is, demo level is created, and let's see what we get. So again, while that is loading in, here is the original. I have never seen the results. You're gonna get different lighting, but let's see how good of a job it did recreating the scene. And here we are. All right, so we're zoomed into a very weird location, but let's go see our scene. And here here we go. End result. I, I, again, this is just space magic. There, you're going to get slightly different lighting, but otherwise, like, magic. It's honestly, it's, it's magic in my opinion. So if you want to move between the engines, when you get over, you're going to have to rework your lighting. Just because they have different lighting models, it totally makes sense. It also looks like we've got a weird um, skybox going on from this import. You're gonna get you're gonna get little things, very small things here, but for the most part, it's a one-click export, a four-click. It's a four-click export from one engine to the other, and that is simply amazing in my humble opinion. So uh, again, there is one of the results we got out of it. Here is the earlier one. This is the uh, polar base we looked at. Uh, Again, just really sharp quality. You're going you're gonna to have to switch out the lighting. Again, we lost the uh, particle effects from the storm in the background, uh, but this is magic. And then we had that one other example here as well. Then this was the, uh, the scene. This one actually had to bring a uh, special train over, uh, and it had to bring all the uh, animated foliages and such around. And again, just 
amazing what it brought. And you, you know what? Again, you've used Unity before. Can you tell me, can you see any fuchsia? <laughs> Have you ever worked with a project in Unity and not had to replace like tons, tons and tons and tons of uh, fuchsia missing textures? There's not a single one. Again, I, ju I just find this thing absolutely magical. So if you're as interested in it as I am, again, I'm timing this video to go exactly with when the sale's starting. So this is as cheap as it's ever been as far as I know. That's 70% off, it's, it's a hell of a deal. So if you're looking at just sort of taking advantage of, again, every month, first Tuesday of the month, uh, Epic Games gives away a number of assets. You could bring pretty much any of these over to the Unity game engine and just use them as if you were native. You're going to, of course, need to have Unreal Engine installed to do the conversion process, but it's amazing. It just opens you up to a, a world of assets. I also should have probably pointed this out while I was here. It brings them in in a way that's useful. So look at here. It actually created prefabs of all the various different things. So you need a mailbox, boom, there's a mailbox. You need a tree, boom, there's a tree. So it's not just bringing these in through like a single unified mesh garbage output. It's actually bringing the objects in like they were originally. So you're still getting the components there so you can tweak and change your level. It's bringing it in as prefabs ready to go. This just, again, I find this mind-blowing and magical. I'm curious what you ultimately think of it as well. Uh, but you do have about 12 hours from the published time of this video to pick it up 75 or 70% 70 off. Um, also, if you're interested, the uh, bundle that we featured for that New York thing, this is going to be running for quite a bit longer. Huge number of assets, 25 different packs for both Unreal and Unity. So no conversion required in that case, but uh, you saw one of the examples there. And if uh, you're looking at doing this for other engines, so maybe you want to bring things from Unreal over to the Godot game engine or for Blender, uh, check this one out. Uh, it's got other ways of doing it. There are a number of ways of doing it, but hands down, the best results, the easiest work, the, the, the number one most magical solution out there is this Unity, uh, Unreal Unreal to Unity exporter, which I, I, again, I just found this staggeringly impressive. But I'm curious what you think of the end results. Again, the lighting changes. You're not going to get around that. They have just a completely different renderer. They have a different look and feel. You're going to have to tweak the lighting in between the two. But other than that, you tend to get animated textures over across properly. Landscapes come across properly. Shrubs and bushes and other stuff comes across properly. Uh, I find it super impressive. So if you're interested in checking that out, uh, now is probably the cheapest time to do so. And yeah, Exporter for Unreal to Unity really is as close to a one-click move my game from this engine to that as you are ever going to find. Again, set your expectations accordingly, though. It doesn't move your logic over your, your code, that kind of stuff. You're going to have to recreate all that in the other engine. But if you're looking at getting assets from one engine to the other, this thing is staggeringly impressive, in my opinion. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.